The question is, a pot is baked in a kiln and emerges at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius into a workshop that is constantly at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. After one hour, the temperature of the pot is 100 degrees Celsius. Assume Newton's law of cooling. A. What will be the temperature of the pot after two hours? And B. How long will it take until the pot cools to 32 degrees Celsius? OK, so we'll need Newton's law of cooling. So let's just look that up. All right, my notes say Newton's law of cooling says d capital T over d small t is k times t minus t e where t is the temperature of my object at time t. So capital T is a function of small t, which is why we can do dt on dt. Te is the temperature of the environment. OK. And k is a constant. All right. And so we need to solve that differential equation. Ah, but my notes give me the solution. So let's just do that. So this implies t is equal to te plus t of 0 minus te times e to the kt, where t of 0 is the temperature of my object at time t equals 0. Cool. So all I need to do is um, sub everything into that formula. So I just need to figure out what everything is. OK, so let me start a new page. And let me read my question to see um, what it says about all the values of all these things. A pot is baked in a kiln and emerges at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. OK, so T of 0, the temperature of my object at time 0, is 300. OK, and it emerges at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius into a workshop that is constantly at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So the temperature of my environment is 30. And it then says after one hour the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. So T of 1 is 100. So I'm measuring time in hours here. All right, well, let's see. My formula was T is equal to TE plus T of 0 minus TE e to the KT. And TE is 30. And T0 is 300. And TE is 30. E to the KT. Don't know what K is yet. So that's... 30 plus 270 e to the kt. All right, now what else have I got? I've got that t of 1 is 100. So t of 1 is 30 plus 270 e to the k times 1. And that's 100. And so let's see, 270 e to the k is equal to 100 minus 30, which would be 70. So e to the k is equal to 70 over 270. All right. So I guess... I'd have to take logs of both sides to figure that out. So let's see. K 
is equal to ln of 70 over 270. So that'd just be 7 over 27. So t is equal to te plus 200, not te, sorry. t would be, what's the last thing we did? 30 plus 270e to the ln 7 over 27t. But e to the ln 7 over 27 is just 7 over 27. So 30 plus 270 times 7 over 27 to the power of t. All right. So that's my formula. What do I need to figure out? I need to figure out what t is, temperature is after 2 hours. Okay. So, let's just write out that formula again. T equals 30 plus 270 times 7 over 27 to the T. So, I want the temperature at 2 hours. So, T of 2 would be 30 plus 270 times 7 over 27 squared. And when I plug that into my calculator, I get... 30 plus 270 times 7 over 27 squared, I get approximately equal to 48. So the pot is 48 degrees Celsius after 2 hours. Okay, what's part B say? B. How long will it take well, until the pot cools to 32 degrees Celsius? Well, I just want the T that I put into my function to come out to 32. So we want T of T to be equal to 32. So 30 plus 277 over 27 to the T is 32. So 277 over 27 to the T is equal to 2. 7 over 27 to the T is equal to 2 over 270. And then I want that T to come down, so I should do logs of both sides. So ln 7 over 27 to the T is ln 2 over 270. Let's just write that on the next new page. So we had ln 7 over 27 to the t equals ln 2 over 270. So the t can come outside the log. T times ln 7 over 27 is ln 2 over 270. And so T is ln 2 over 270 over ln 7 over 27. Which apparently, if when I ask my calculator, let's see what that comes out to. That comes out to approximately 3.6. So it takes 3.6 hours for the pot to cool to 32 degrees Celsius. And that's the end of the question.